Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to make a top-down sword fighting game in Scratch. Eventually it will look something like this, with three different kinds of enemies. So let's just get right into it. You want to start in the player sprite, this has two costumes, run run and run two. So let's just make a running animation. To make that we'll say one click, switch costume to run run, then wait 0.5 seconds, then we can just duplicate this and switch costume to run 2 and place this in a forever loop. Now we have this nice animation. Next we'll be going to the player movement. So when clicked, go to x0, y0 and point in direction 90. Next you want to set the rotation style left right. This makes it so the player will only be able to point in two directions. As the name suggests, left and right. So let me show you what I mean. So right now I'm going to click on set rotation style left right and it can only point in two directions. Now let me show you what happens when I say all around. Look at that guys, it's not what we want. And I think don't rotate explains itself. So we want set rotation style left right. Now forever change x position by and get out a change y position by 2. Then minus and minus. So we will be doing key right arrow pressed minus key left arrow pressed and here we will be doing key up arrow pressed minus key down arrow pressed now let's see what happens so we can move our player but very very slowly to fix this we'll be doing times five of course you can change this if you like so i'll duplicate it for the two times then i'll say times five and another times five okay now we've got this fast movement and it's looking pretty good now we will make sure that if the right arrow key or the left arrow key are being pressed and both of them are not being pressed at the same time we will change the direction to do that we will say if the key right arrow is being pressed and the key left arrow is being pressed and we don't want them to be pressed at the same time so we will say not then you will check if one of them are being pressed so and key right arrow pressed or key left arrow pressed now we can just put that in here and now it's time for the direction and we already have this set rotation style left right so we don't have to worry about that anymore so we're going to point in direction key right arrow pressed minus key left arrow pressed so it's either pointing in the direction of one or minus one so let me show you what that does. As you can see, I'm pressing the right arrow, it's going to the right and pointing right. And when I press left, it does the opposite and we can go up, down, you can go basically everywhere. But there's still one problem. As you can see, I can go through the edges and almost disappear. Now, it's time to fix that problem. Before I move on to the next part of the video, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Okay, let's just make some edge detection. If Y position is bigger than 139, we are going to set Y position to 139. Now we are going to do the same for minus 139, except we want to switch these two so it looks like this. Because we are working with negative numbers now. Okay, time to move on to X position. So if the X position is bigger than 195, then we will set X position to 195. And again, we will do the same for minus 195 and switch these two. 
Now let's test it out. We can move our player, we can point in other directions, and we have this cool edge detection. So we can't go past these borders. Of course, you can change the borders if you like, but I think these are pretty good. Okay, now it's time to move on to the sword. So here in sword, we have three costumes. Sword swing, and here you can see it's pointing to the right. Sword swing two. It's pointing to the left and just sword. Okay. When clicked, we're going to switch costume to sword and point in direction 90 and put this in a forever loop. Now we want it to swing. So if key space pressed, switch costume to direction of player. And this will switch the costume to either Sword Sing or Sword Swing 2. Now repeat 10 times, turn, and you can change this if you like, 6 times direction of player. So let's just test it out now. As you can see, it is really glitching out. So we are going to fix this and we're also going to fix the direction of the player. When clicked, forever, if the direction of player equals 1 we are going to go to x x position of player plus 30 and we are then going to go to y position of player next we're going to go to x position of player minus 30 and now we have our sword and that is looking really nice in our game we only have one health if you want to add more a good way of showing it is with a health bar you can use the video on screen to make one in the next episode we'll be adding three different types of enemies and an explosion box till next time